What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, today we're going to be checking out a little Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. I gotta say, I'm kind of depressed because in both of these clips, I completely choked the nuke. It's just insane. I got so close each and every time, but I couldn't just pull the trigger and obtain it. But nonetheless, even though I didn't get the nuke, I think you guys are still going to really enjoy this gameplay. Regardless of the hate that Modern Warfare 2 gets, I just think it's still just such a fun game to play. It's just a buggy, glitchy, just unbalanced mess. And because of that exact reason, it's just enjoyable sometimes. But ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about Battlefield 2042. I I'm going to be honest, I don't really know how to start off this video because I know I'm going to get hate some type of way. But in Battlefield 2042, they went ahead and showed off five new specialists and... <laughs> Of course, as we all know, when they show off more specialists in this game, the Battlefield community gets outraged. There is so much hate, so much hate going towards the specialist system, and I truly don't understand why. I actually saw a tweet pop up on my Twitter feed, and if you guys do want to follow me over on Twitter, or even on my Twitch channel where I live stream every single day, by all means, the link to every single one of my channels is down in the description of this video. But just scrolling through my feed on Twitter, I saw this tweet pop up by... Tyrium, I think his name is? I never saw him before. Like I said, it just popped up in my feed randomly. But it's nothing, nothing but facts when I read this. And I, ha I had to implement this into the video because I thought it was hilarious. He went ahead and said, wait, are people really upset that the stale and dated class system is being replaced with specialists in Battlefield 2042? It's a customizable version of the same thing. It's so true. It's the same exact thing. Technically, they didn't even touch the class system in this game. They just added abilities, little gadgets, and they're not even assault gadgets. It's not like Call of Duty where you have like a mini gun or a Tempest gun that shocks. No, they're all support abilities. And at the same time, you can pick ammo or meds or a rocket. You can pick anything you want. People keep saying constantly back to back to back that the whole team play system is gone because the class system is gone. But I mean, Jesus Christ, you gotta be, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean here, but if you're playing with a group of friends, you have to have something partially wrong with your brain if you all can't coordinate your specialists and pick a ammo box, a med box and a rocket. If you guys can't figure out how to do that without a class system being set out in front of you, uh, what what can I say? I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to rant too long for this, but I, I just had to say this because it's insane how outraged people are over the specialist system. A lot of the complaints I personally have for Battlefield 2042 had nothing to do with the innovations of the game, but for the core game itself. I made complaints about how EA is going to scheme us because it's EA. We all know how EA acts. I made complaints about how the game was released in a horrible state. I made complaints about how the beta was, you know, they shouldn't have released that beta. This should have given us a better edition of the game. Those are the complaints I made. I have not complained yet about, you know, the specialist system or the movement in the game, the time to kill, you know, all the new things they added to this game. I haven't complained yet because to me personally, I think they're all really solid. It's almost exactly, exactly what everybody wanted out of Battlefield game. Everybody always says, oh, I want a game like Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. Here we go. It's a game that's just as fast paced as Battlefield 4, just as good with the gunplay as Battlefield 4. They added a few tweaks to the movement, that's it. And they changed classes to specialists and still allow for the same exact class system, regardless if specialists are in the game or not. And people are still finding a way to say that's absolute garbage, even though this is exactly what everybody begged for. A modern day, near futuristic game that had really good movement, updated engine, all of the above. We got that. <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty funny stuff, man. It's pretty funny stuff. But today, I do want to discuss the specialist with you guys. Like I said, I don't really want to, you know, talk too much crap on the community because I know I'm going to get enough hate for what I said in the beginning of this video and I'm going to get a lot of dislikes. But today, I do want to discuss the specialist in this game and tell you guys why I think they're perfectly balanced at its current state. One of the main complaints from people right now is that the specialists are unbalanced, so we're only going to see one thing for the whole game. And for example, the grappling hook from the beta. That's why everybody came to this conclusion, because everybody was using the grappling hook from the beta. Nobody really sat down and thought, hmm, maybe it's because the game's been only out for a day and people just, you know, wanted to use the meta right away so they can get used to the game. No, nobody thought of that. Everybody just kind of came to the conclusion that specialists are ass and, you know, there's no variety. When, for myself personally, I used all the specialists and had an equal amount of fun with each and every one. They're all usable. They're all useful besides the medic pistol, which I will talk about a little bit later in this video because they have added a new specialist that is a medic as well, which is 10 times better and is going to completely, you know, isolate the other medic. But we'll talk about that later in the video. At the end of the day, the specialists are all usable. Again, if you want your traditional class system, 
just like I said, you can pick a med bag, a ammo bag, or a rocket. You have an option for each and every one while still using a specialist. If you can't cooperate with your teammate to figure out who wants to run who, <laughs> that's on you guys. But first up is Navin. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. His place of birth is India, he's a recon class, his specialty is a cyber warfare suit, and his trait is Trojan Network. Basically, this guy can go ahead and access things like uh, wall barriers that they have for vehicles to go in and out of without actually having to go up and touch it. He could just do that, you know, through his actual system. And also, he has a really cool ability where if you scan someone with this ability and you kill him, any nearby enemies will be scanned with the outline red over their character so you can see them as well. So he's very aggressive and very fun to use. He's just like the other recon character where you have the drone that you can fly around and spot everybody. But this guy, instead of having a drone that you can go around, he doesn't have to pull out anything. He just goes, he finds someone, he spots them, and then he kills everybody around them. Again, not too overpowered in my personal opinion. First off, if he doesn't kill the enemy that he spots, nobody else will be spotted at all. And second off, it's not like he just looks at them, they're automatically spotted. He has to go through a whole sequence to actually go ahead and spot this individual. So I mean, yes, if you're a noob and you're not going to, you know, notice what's going around in your surroundings, you'll probably die by him and then your team's going to be pissed off at you. But if any experienced player who knows how to play a game, you know, that has situational awareness is not going to die by this guy way too often. You're going to have to be pretty strategic with this operator, and I think that's really good. Next operator is Santiago. We've actually seen this man in the Battlefield 2042 trailer where he stabs someone in the back and rips off his tag, you know, showing it off in the air. But his place of birth is Mexico. His class is Assault. His specialty is a SOB-8 Ballistic Shield and his trait is blast resistant. So basically this man has a 24-7 perk on from Call of Duty where, you know, explosives don't do that much damage to you. Pretty good. I like that. And at the same time, he has a ballistic shield. I know a lot of people do get annoyed by riot shields and stuff like that, but I think they're pretty fun and tactical and they can be used very well. I've never died by a ballistic shield, so I don't really know why people hate it too much. You know, you just run up to it and shoot him in the back. <laughs> Again, I don't know where people find the time to complain about these specialists all the time, you know? I can understand when people are playing with the riot shield strategically, you know, they're placing people with actual assault rifles behind them, but that's what I always expect for. I never aim for a riot shield. Whenever I see a riot shield come up, I aim above them and behind them to make sure nobody else is going to use them as bait. And then, obviously, if they switch from the riot shield to a gun, you can easily see them switch and you shoot them, you know? It's not too hard of an experience. Next up is Emma, and I gotta say, this chick is a badass. If you guys haven't checked out the trailer yet, Make sure you check it out and check this chick out because my god, that wingsuit is awesome. But like I was saying, her place of birth is France, her class is Assault, Specialty, Smart Explosives, and Trait Wingsuit. Like I just said, the wingsuit looks phenomenal in this game. Once again, another addition that I think is going to work perfectly with the specialists. Everybody says, oh, everybody's just going to use a grappling hook. You can't tell me that's all people are going to use after seeing all these additions. You have a guy who could spot enemies, you know, highlight them in red. You have a guy that's resistant to explosives. You have this chick who has a freaking wingsuit, which is insane. Like I said, and if you check out out the trailer you'll see the movement of this and also her specialty is smart explosives which she has three different explosives ones that'll track like helicopters and other vehicles another one that i think is like a cluster grenade uh, it, it's going to be a lot of fun to mess around with her as well next up is jisoo now this one i'm a little worried about out of all the specialists i've been really fine but this specialist right here might need a little tuning. I don't know. Again, I haven't had hands-on. I haven't played with her, but just by seeing the gameplay and the footage and also just reading her traits, she seemed a little overpowered. But basically, her place of birth is South Korea. Her class is Recon, Specialty EMG X Scanner, and her trait is a Threat Perception. Basically, this chick, if you shoot her, or let's say you're using this chick, okay? You're using this character, you get shot at. Whoever shoots you is going to be completely highlighted in red. So no matter who engages with you, you're going to know exactly where they're at. Again, a lot of people are going to say this is really annoying, but <laughs> 9 times out of 10, you die in this game when you get shot. The time to kill is extremely fast, so you're pretty lucky to survive in the first place. And come on now, everybody's always complaining about visibility in Battlefield games, and everybody's always saying, Oh, I can't see where I'm getting shot from. I don't know where the enemies are. Bam, right here. You get shot at, you just so happen to survive, at least you know where the enemy is, so you have a fair enough gunfight. They'll probably still win because they have the advantage point on you. You know, if they have a height advantage and they shoot you, you're probably not going to come back and be able to kill them, but I mean, at least you know, right? <laughs> And then her second trait is basically Vision Pulse from Black Ops 3. Nothing new here. A lot of people are saying, oh, wall hacks are being introduced into Battlefield. This, that, this, that. Again, we've seen this in other games before. It's not overpowered. I know a lot of people are going to say this is stupidly overpowered. But honestly, I feel like her trait that allows you to see who shoots you is more overpowered than this one. Because it's just Vision Pulse. If everybody's in your general area, you can scan the area around you. And you can spot, like, what, three, four, five enemies. Whoever's around you, you'll spot. And you'll know exactly where they are. The chances of you beating eight enemies while using that Vision Pulse last second in a very close quartered area is probably next to none. Can you get at least one to two kills? Yeah. But it's not that overpowered that you're going to be wiping 
full squads with a vision pulse. You know what I'm saying? And also, a lot of the engagements are outdoors, long-range fights. So a lot of the time, this vision pulse isn't going to be too useful unless you're up close and in a building and you're ready to use it. I can see tons of plays being used with a specialist, and I think she's going to be just extremely good. And I do think she might need a little bit of a nerf. But again, like I said... It seems like it's a balance. Again, I could see myself switching out from this specialist to another specialist to another specialist. All of them have their own usable abilities, and none of them are assault abilities. That's the biggest factor. If there were assault abilities, that would be the problem right there, because nobody wants to deal with, you know, a minigun or, like I said, a Tempest weapon or any of this crap. No, these are all support abilities that have nothing to do with killing you. They only assist the person who's using them a little bit more. They don't assist them enough that it'll get 50 kills, but it assists them enough that it could save them in a life-death situation maybe one out of ten times. And last up is Angel. This man is from Romania. He's a support class. He has a loadout crate and also a trauma specialist. Now, this is the one I want to talk about. This guy is going to definitely overtake the other medic in this game. I completely forget her name, but her medic pistol is useless, and she has no purpose in the battle at this point. Basically, this guy, he does the same exact thing that she does, but when he revives someone, they get armor on top of the health. So why would I use the other chick when I could easily give someone full health with armor? You know what I'm saying? And also he gets a loadout crate, which allows you to change your loadout at any time. So you know there's a plus system in this game. You can change your attachments on the fly. But what you can't do is change your weapon on the fly. And that's what this guy allows you to do. He drops a loadout crate. And if you want to change to a support class, or I guess I should say LMG, is no longer class system in this game. If you want to use an LMG, a sniper rifle, you know, an SMG, anything of that sort, that's what this guy is for. He's a great team player. And honestly, I guarantee he's probably going to be used a at least once per every single team. He's outstanding. Like I said, he gives you full armor off of revives, and at the same time, he allows you to change your class no matter what situation you're in. Phenomenal. But that leads me to the discussion of the other medic. She has to be buffed completely. I know they said that the pistol was stupidly overpowered the way it was before where it revives people off the ground, but I think they need to revert that and bring that back into the situation or else she's going to be just obsolete. Nobody's going to want to use her. First off, her pistol's booty cheeks. It's hard enough to hit people while they're moving around the battlefield. The only purpose I would ever use her pistol is one, to heal myself, and two, to heal other people who are already on the ground dead. So at the end of the day, right now in its current spot, the only reason I would use that medic class is to abuse it for my own personal benefit. You know, it's not going to be a person or a specialist that I use for my whole team to heal. It's going to be a specialist I use to only heal myself, you know? So I really hope that they change the pistol and allow people to be revived off the ground again. Because if they don't, this specialist right here, Angel, is going to completely take over for the medic role. But that's about it, guys. I think there's rumored to be some more specialists being leaked or maybe gameplay being leaked. I don't know. I think this is actually all the specialists, right? There's only 10 in the game. I'm not sure. I, I don't know how much more is being leaked out, but I just wanted to go ahead, cover all the specialists in this game, and try to explain why I think they're all going to be perfectly balanced. Seriously, like, I think it's going to be turning out really good, and I feel like people are overreacting to the situation just to cause some drama. Again, I know I'm guilty of the whole drama scene. I know that I cause drama 24-7 between my games, but I try to do it in the best way I possibly can. When I cause drama or I have some complaints about something, I try to dig deep, find reasons why, and then base my opinions off of that stuff. This right here, I still can't see a reason to hate on these specialists. Like, again, like, I know people want the traditional class system, but it's in the game. <laughs> I, I don't know what else you want. If you want to revive people, there's two specialists that allow you to do so. If you want to drop ammunition, every single person in the lobby can use an ammo bag. If you want to go ahead and take out tanks or repair your vehicles, every single person in the lobby can use rockets or repair tools. Like, I, I, I truly don't see where the hate for this system is coming from. But guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like if you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, there's two ways to do so. I've turned in Discord. Both of those links are down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams and video games, I do over on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.